how to install Google Tag Manager on a Wix website. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can install your Google Tag Manager on a Wix website. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is you follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is you go ahead to Wix.com then you are going simply to connect or sign into your account. If you don't have an account, you are simply going to sign up. Then you are going to be faced with this page. I will let you see the page right here. And this is the uh, sites of Wix that we have created. If you didn't create a Wix website yet, all you have to do is to click on create a new site right here. And if you have already a website, all you have to do is to select and edit the website. Click on it and it will take you to the Wix dashboard specific for that particular website. Now, let's go ahead and search for the Google Tag Manager. Go ahead to Google and type simply Google Tag Manager. Here we have the first search result. It is the platform of Google Tag Manager. You click on it. And here, when you click on it, it will take you to the platform of Google Tag Manager. As you can see here, we have no account on this platform. So I'm going to create a Google or a create an account within a Tag Manager. Simply, you are going to sign into your Google account. This is a must. And then we are going to click on create account. Now we have here add a new account account setup you are going to put the account name for example this is jack test testing for example like that and here we have the country you can go ahead and set the country that you are going to use uh, this um, google tag manager from you can check this box and share the data anonymously with anonymously with google and other platforms that google works with and here we have the container setup here we have the container name for example you can go ahead and put the uh, wix or the website that you have uh, to put right here i'm going to select here the wix website that we have let's see here if we can see the website i'm going to click on uh, or click on live uh, site then i'm going simply to copy this link go back right here and put the link and we cannot start a name with that so i'm going simply to put a name jack smith for example this is the container name and here we have the target platform you can go ahead and select the platform that you are going to target we have here web for use on desktop and mobile page webs here we have the ios for use in ios apps Android for use in Android apps, AMP for use in accelerated mobile pages, and here we have finally the servers. For server side instrumentation and measurement, I'm going to select the first one which is the web. Then I am going simply to click on create. Here we have some uh, terms of services agreement. You are going to read them and take your time on it. And when you finish, I, I am going to put this enable that case click on yes and here it will be creating our uh, our site right here here we have the steps to install google tag manager if you don't have a uh, integration from the provider or the website provider right here you are going to need these codes but in our case of, for using wix we don't need that these coding we we'll click simply on ok and then we are going just to get this code, which is the ID code right here, or the ID admin code, as you can see here. This is the code that we are going to copy and get. If you don't see the code right here, all you have to do is to go to the admin section right here from these pages. And here we are going to see the code right here. Simply go and copy it. And let's go back right here to the Wix platform. Under the Wix platform, we are going to search under the uh, the menu bar right here or the left side menu 
for marketing. I'm going to click on marketing. And here we are going to search for marketing integrations. And in order to find the marketing integration, it is not uh, on the marketing homepage as I have made a little search. It is integrated into the settings. Simply click on settings. And here we can see the general. We have here the communication. We have also the advanced. I'm going to access the marketing integrations, click on here, and simply we are going to see the integration that we have. We have Google Analytics, Metapixel, and Copy, Google Ads Conversions, TikTok Pixel, Facebook Catalog, Merchant Feed, Ads, .text, Yandex, and finally we have the Google Tag Manager. I'm going to connect that right here. Uh, here to be able to connect your Google Tag Manager, you have to upgrade to your plan. It is a, a very simple step. Click on upgrade, then you are going to uh, buy a new or make some upgrades to the paid plan. Here we have some plans. You can see here we have the light plan, the core, the business and the business elite. These doesn't matter for us. You can go ahead and select the plan that you want. And then we are going to set up a Google Tag Manager Container ID. It will let you see right here when you click on this, it will be uh, demanding the ID that we have from here. We are going to copy it, then paste it on here. And simply you are going to click on Add Google Tag Manager and you will be good to go. These are only the two steps that you can do and you are going to set everything right here. If you don't see or manage to see the uh, integration or the marketing integration into the dashboard right here, all you have to do is to go ahead and visit up the website that you have, click on edit site. And from here, as you can see, this is not the website, this is the uh, particular website. I'm going to see here the website editor. We have the website loaded up. We are going to click on settings from the website directly. And as you can see here, we have under these sections, we have a marketing integrations. You click on it and it will guide you directly to the marketing integrations options that you have in the Wix platform. Here we have the Google Tag Manager, click on connect and again you are going to do the same steps. It is very easy and very simple. That was all for today's video. I hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and uh, hope to see you soon on the next one.